Just getting to be a bit of a mess in here, isn't it? Um, look, I just wanted to um, I just wanted to respond to a message. Like, so I've seen someone in one of the 12, 24 volt groups asking about batteries. I'll, I'll flash up what he's asked to do. So this is what he's asked for. And if you look at this really carefully, he's trying to use it as both a 12 volt battery and a 24 volt battery at once, right? And no, you absolutely can't do that. For, for starters, you can't have series and parallel connected. You've just created a dead short, right? And when when you're talking about like independent 12 volt batteries, then like, so this big pack here, that's, a, that's just one solid continuous pack. But those ones on the bottom, they're actually independent 12 volt lithium batteries. So if I was to connect something, you see that people do this all the time, they connect them at 24 volt. Um, for example, like in a, in a truck, and then they just connect the 12 volt devices to one side. Now, in a, in a system like this where there's over voltage protection, that's not really a big deal. But if this was an AGM battery or a flooded lead acid battery, right? And yeah, they've cut same chemistry, right? Just a different. There's an absorbent glass matting in the AGM to keep the cell uh, like wet with with um, electrolyte, but basically the same battery. One of the things that people don't do is they don't bloody balance them, and and so you're immediately off to a bad start. So if you were to connect a 12 volt uh, source to that or a 12 volt um, load to that, that one would slowly but surely be getting discharged. But you take the voltage, negative there, positive there, you're charging to 24 volts across the entire pack. So if this one was higher and it was flooded lead acid or uh, an AGM, that one would end up getting overcharged and that one wouldn't get fully charged, right? And it is a surefire way to absolutely kill the life of your batteries. I used to work in a mining company uh, where we had uh, a, like a really large field network. Um, so like hundreds of trailers out in the field, hundreds of, we were servicing an autonomous fleet of uh, trucks. Uh, and the guys would just install the batteries and they would never balance them out. So I'll flash up, I'll flash up another thing you can get. And we use these on the caravan because the caravan's independent Voltex uh, 12 volt batteries all strung up into 48 volts. But to make sure that they stay balanced, we use this battery equalizer. So it's not the same as the it's not the same as the BMS you know the BMS doing the balancing, but it equalises the batteries by drawing one down. So whichever one is highest, it'll draw it down. So over time, you can stop the batteries from drifting apart. That way, when you charge them, you're putting the right voltage into each one, and and not one of them gets heavily overcharged, and, and not one gets left behind. Right. So as they as they age, the equaliser will slowly but surely draw the power down on the other ones to bring them down to the level of the lowest one. Right now, it's, and that's not as good as like an active balancer, like you get in these or in these BMSs. But you know, it's better than nothing. So I'll um, I'll chuck some links to these devices in the in the description because man, if you if you're going to build a battery with and you want 12 volts from your 24, use a voltage step down. And for the love of God, if you can put in a battery equalizer, put in a battery equalizer. Your batteries will thank you for it, and they'll last significantly longer.